What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. And in this video update, we're going to talk about a platform that I've been hearing about all day. So I had to get on here and talk about what's going on and see what's going on for myself. And that is arisingtrade.com. All right. We were talking about arisingtrade.com for a little while. Past couple of times we've done videos. I know I wasn't here with you guys yesterday. And make sure everybody knows what day today is. Today is Thursday, November 11, 2021. I want to remind everybody that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and I am not your financial advisor. I'm just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how I grow my crypto on these different platforms. Nothing more, nothing less. With that being said, we're going to talk about a rising trade. Now, I've been getting text messages most of the day about a rising trade, comments on my videos about a rising trade. What's going on? Is it is it crash? Is it gone? Is it falling? And guys, I don't have the best news for you guys. So let's get in here and talk about it. I want to share my screen. Now, this is the first time I've ever seen this in any of the hype space, right? I want to refresh this real quick. It has this little load up screen. It's 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%. And 83%, it says the website is hacked. Guys, I've never seen anything like this where the website flat out says the website is hacked. Never have I ever seen anything like this. And it's even got the little V for Vendetta guy up here. So look, um, I received a notification earlier saying that this project has stopped paying um, as, for the, as, as for the time being. Um, we're still waiting on word from the admin on what's going on with their platform. Right now, I'm here to tell you guys that when I see stuff like this, which is the first time I've seen anything like this, um, it's just time to hang it up. now. I'm so glad that I only put $300 in here. I only put $300 worth of crypto. And I practice what I preach when I say I can only put in things in these platforms that I'm willing to lose. I'm okay with losing $300 worth of crypto. Won't be the first time, probably won't be the last. I could lose $300 in a day with the falling market. With the, I can make $300 in a rising market, market in a day. Um, but I just thought it was kind of funny. I know it's not funny to lose your money. You know, It's not funny. But I thought this was funny. It has the actual, the website is hacked on the page. Uh, I, I've never seen nothing like this. Um, usually when a website is hacked or if they admit that they're hacked, some of them won't even admit that they're hacked and some of them will lie and say that they're hacked. So this could be a total lie. This could just be the company scamming out and they just wanted a creative way to scam out. You never really know. But I know that um, when the people that share with me the platforms that they trust, and they get in contact with this admin and this admin tries to launch another project, i tell you what, I'll tell you this right now, I bet you it won't get on BOJ's desk <laughs> because I bet you it won't get on the people before me's desk either. They're gonna know who this admin is and they're gonna be like, you know what, uh, it's not worth it because of what you did last time, how you handled it last time. It doesn't, I can't even show you how many days this was around but it probably wasn't even around a week. I don't think it's been around a whole week yet, guys. So a rising trade. I just wanted to get on here and do a quick video about that because we just did a new platform launch for this just a couple of days ago. All right. But this is a good example of what can happen. Some platforms will literally be here today and gone tomorrow. And this platform, we weren't even able to make our first withdrawal because I did it in Bitcoin and I had to have at least $25 worth of Bitcoin to do a withdrawal from this platform. So if this platform is gone, then that's $300 gone with no return at all. And hey, that happens. It can happen to me just like it happened to you guys. So um, I wanted to get that out there as quickly as I could. We're going to do a little bit more, uh, a couple more videos. I've also been advised for those of you that are still watching, this is a general statement. If you have any platforms right now that are paying and you can get withdrawals, whether it be batch IDs or it takes 24 hours, 48 hours, try to get your money out. Try to pay attention to where your money is and pull it out, all right? Because what they're saying is with this unstable market, there's going to be a lot of platforms that decide that this is it and this is as far as they want to go. Some will decide to keep pressing through this bull market that we're experiencing in the crypto market. Some will decide, hey, I'm going to take what I've gotten and go ahead and run with it. So um, this is the risk that we take here in this space, in this platform space with crypto. This is the risk that we take here at BOJ. So seeing this kind of stuff, hey, I understand it won't be the first time and it won't be the last. With that being said, y'all make sure you put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets because crypto is a wild, wild west. And if you ain't strapped, 
You're bound to get hacked. Ask me how I know. It's not very fun. I will see y'all in the next video update. This is a rising trade. Um, I'm going to go ahead and deem it an exit stage left, um, but probably the most creative way to tell people that they've been scammed. Yeah. All right. So we'll see what happens. We'll stay up on if anything changes. But as of right now, I will be taking my link down. And um, that's that. All right. With that being said, see you on the next video. Peace out.